Speaking of Simone Biles, what kind of an influence has she had on you? And would you consider her a mentor in a way? She was like my mentor. Then she was like my big sister. And now she's like my ride or die best friend. Being able to have somebody like her and her ability and what she does. Like she's the go. I don't care what people say. That coming from a talented gymnast like herself means a great deal for sure. She is legit the go. Like people be saying all these crazy things. And I'm like, do you not understand as an athlete? what she goes through. And I see it every day, right? I can bow down to you and be like, yo, like I give you your flowers. Obviously, Jordan Childs is more than just Simone Biles' friend. She is one of her biggest fans as well. As she can see firsthand how great Simone is, it is no wonder that Jordan sees her friend and mentor as the GOAT. And what great friends they are too. Having her by my side 24 seven and giving me encouraging words every day definitely helped. And it was very motivational. Jordan Childs shared of training partner Biles after her third place finish at the 2021 Olympic trials earned her a spot on the Tokyo bound US women's gymnastics team. Very happy to have someone like her. More than just being the best training partner there is, Biles has had an even greater impact on Jordan's life. When Childs first considered hanging up her leotards in 2017, it was Biles who stopped that from happening. Despite winning all-around silver at the national championships at the time, after an unconventional spinning save on the beam launched her into the rising star conversation, she'd been left off the roster for Worlds that year. I didn't think the sport wanted me anymore, she confessed. So I went in the opposite direction. I guess this sport is coming to an end for me because things just aren't working out for me at all whatsoever. And so she simply wanted to finish high school and go off to college. But then I had a talk with Simone. She recalled with obvious affection. The GOAT then invited the then high school senior to train with her at the gym she'd opened with parents Ron and Nellie Biles in 2014. Then, after Childs attended her prom and high school graduation, she made the leap to Spring, Texas and the World Champion Center. I discovered that gymnastics doesn't always have to be about strictness and being so hard on yourself and having so much doubt, she shared. I actually realized this is when I saw Simone compete. She looks like she's having fun out there, laughing and giggling and doesn't look stressed or tired. I was like, you know, I'm gonna try that one of these days and see how it turns out. From then on, she strived to have fun while competing. In fact, the 2020 Olympic team silver medalist Jordan Childs of the U.S. is enjoying a hectic but positive pace towards this summer's Olympic Games in Paris. After all, the 22-year-old Childs has been thriving at the international, national, and collegiate levels since her Olympic debut in Tokyo three years ago. In 2022, Childs won gold in floor exercise and silver in vault at the World Cup of Paris three bronze medals from the all-around, uneven bars and floor exercise at the U.S. Championships, and three medals from Team Gold, vault silver and floor exercise silver in her World Championships debut in Liverpool. Last season, she finished first on uneven bars, first on floor exercise, and second all-around at the NCAA Championships, and was fifth all-around at the U.S. Championships, and earned Team Gold all-around bronze and vault silver at the Pan American Games in Santiago. Following the 2022-23 NCAA season, Childs deferred her studies at UCLA to resume training full-time for Paris at the World Champion Center in Spring, Texas where her coaches are Laurent Landy and 1996 French Olympian Cécile Cacoteau Landy. Unfortunately, she is yet to be seen in any competitions this year. It can be noted that in mid-February, it was announced that she would not be able to compete in the Winter Cup, which was set to happen later that month. It was supposed to be the first gymnastics meet of the year that American Olympic hopefuls will participate in as they look to secure a spot at the Paris Games this summer. Unfortunately, the silver medalist at the Tokyo Olympics announced that a slight shoulder injury suffered during recent training prevented her from competing in Louisville. In a tweet, she wrote, Hey guys, I tweaked my shoulder, which has prevented me from training at the level I'm comfortable with leading up to a competition. At the advice of my doctors and coaches, I have decided it is best to pull out of the Winter Cup. Her best friend, Biles, was not present at the event as well. Although, to be fair, the legendary gymnast was not on the 2024 Winter Cup entry list in the first place. 2020 Olympic individual gold medalist Suni Lee, too, for that matter. Anyway, 
Biles didn't need to be in the Winter Cup, which many women are using to qualify for the U.S. Championships in May, since she's already qualified as a member of last year's team for the World Championships, where she won, surprise, surprise, everything. Going back to the Winter Cup, in addition to Childs, Biles, and Lee's absences at the event, Zoe Miller, a 2023 Pan American Games team and uneven bars champion, also announced that she won't be competing, citing injury. For Childs, missing the Winter Cup is a source of frustration after she deferred her sophomore year at UCLA in order to train for Paris Olympics qualification, as was earlier mentioned. I'm frustrated I can't perform for you all, but this is also part of our sport and things like this only fuel me for what's coming," she wrote in the tweet. When she wrote, see you soon, fans actually expected to see her soon, which they did not. As a matter of fact, recent news of Jordan opting out of the 2024 Team USA's camp invite came as a surprise, especially since nobody knew the exact reason. Pondering over her choice, the audience also was unsure of what the gymnast had planned for her Olympic journey this year. However, some of the fans guessed it right over her choices for the classics, which were scheduled to be held in the upcoming months. Meanwhile, as her fans were speculating her cause of withdrawal, Jordan Childs' mother Gina Childs came forward to talk about her daughter's decision that she had made ahead of the Paris Olympics in 2024. In a post on X, Gina Childs wrote, I wanted to say something because I saw everyone asking, but was patiently waiting for USAG to update the list. She's there verifying, but not for assignment. When asked whether her daughter can still go to Paris, she answered with conviction. Yes, absolutely. Paris is available to anyone who qualifies to Olympic trials. So stay tuned to US championships at the end of May to see who gets the invite. For context, the 2024 U.S. Championships included two stages, the American Classic by the end of April and the U.S. Classic in May. It also would lead to athletes qualifying for the Olympic trials henceforth. Furthermore, talking about the camp invite, Jordan Childs' mother admitted, Honestly, that isn't the plan. U.S. Classic has been the focus, but plans change, so I guess we will all see if she decides differently. Interestingly, she also hinted that the U.S. Classic in May is Jordan Childs' chosen path. For any competitive athlete, winning an Olympic silver medal only fuels you to return and capture gold, and Jordan is no exception. While the U.S. Olympic team roster hasn't been finalized, a few upcoming national competitions will go a long way in determining who competes in Paris. Jordan hasn't wavered with her intent to compete on the world stage once again. I can tell you my floor routine is very hype, it's very that girl," she noted before adding, that's my motto, I'm that girl is my motto this year. You'll see the difference of what it was like when Jordan was trying to make a team and what it's like for Jordan who knows that, no matter what happens, she's still going to be Jordan Childs. Meanwhile, Jordan's best friend and mentor Simone Biles will be competing in 2024, but she hasn't announced when she will be returning although she is reported to come back in May. Biles is likely to return either at the U.S. Classics taking place between May 17th to 18th in Hartford or the National Championships, which is scheduled from May 30th and will continue until June 2nd in Texas. Both of these events are a way to qualify for the Olympic trials. Will we be seeing either or both of them there? Well, we'll see. And speaking of the Olympics, watch this to see these athletes on their way to try to break Usain Bolt's world records.